is Kelsey Upton. Um, I'd like to start off by welcoming parents, friends, faculty, family, friends of family, friends of friends, friends of faculty, family of faculty, friends of faculty, our wonderful Board of Education, the superintendent, and anyone else here who has helped in one way or another to get us all where we are today. On behalf of the class of 2012, we thank you all. Could I please get a round of applause for all of these people? Uh, now, if we could have all retired and active military, please stand. for the speech. My top three were friendship, newfound independence, and inspiration for the future. But as I sat up at 3 a.m. writing the speech the night before it was due in true senioritis fashion, I realized that these were some of the topics that make up history's most boring graduation speeches. So you can thank me later. <laughs> Naturally, I did what any 90s kid would do when faced with a difficult situation. I turned to the very thing that has aided in my sleep deprivation over the years and probably kept me from snagging rank as valedictorian, the internet. That is when I came across a quote by former President George W. Bush, which I thought suited this occasion very well. It states, to those of you who receive honors, awards, and distinction, I say well done. And to the C students, I say, you can be President of the United States too. <laughs> I found this quote to be very relatable because we can't let the past define us and let others tell us what we can and can't do. If you've had a great four years, that's wonderful. But if these year, four years have been the worst for you, don't let it define you. We're starting a new chapter in our life. We've made new friends and so many memories. But now is the time to move on and set new goals. You can do whatever you dream as long as you reach for the sky. Now, before I begin reminiscing on memories over the past four years, and about 90% of you probably zone out, I would like to share with everyone a few personal regrets I have. The first one being that I was never able to master baking those delicious sugar cookies our cafeteria makes. The second is that I never tried out for the areas of elegance, no matter how much my volleyball girls begged me to. I mean, I, I was always jealous of that walk that y'all did from like, the bleachers to the bathroom was like automatic path. Everybody moves. <laughs> As freshmen, we walked into Newton High School four years ago, our heads filled with rumors, praying that the thin metal walls wouldn't cave in on us and that rodents of unusual size wouldn't attack us. <laughs> Luckily, none of that happened. For me, it seemed like only last week I was that lanky, awkward girl speeding to class with a huge Batman book bag on my back. Well, no, wait, never mind, that was last week. Um, <laughs> As ninth graders, we also prayed that graduation day and Chicken Tender Friday would come sooner than later. Now we are here, done with those grueling four years, and unfortunately done with Chicken Tender Friday. And I can guarantee almost every one of us is already beginning to miss it. It really has been an amazing journey, and I couldn't have asked for a better class to share it with. As we go out into the world, the people sitting right beside you may come back as the next doctor, lawyer, entrepreneur, or Walmart greeter. 
But no matter what, no matter what paths we take and how different our directions, remember that we are always going to be one big dysfunctional family. I may not be the most qualified or eloquent speaker of this group, but somewhere along the way, I was blessed to have received this honor to speak to you guys tonight. So I would like to leave you with one of my, the most inspiring quotes that I've ever had the pleasure of processing in my frontal cerebral lobe. Quick shout out to Ms. James, my anatomy teacher. <laughs> it's by my favorite philosopher, Dr. Seuss. It states, you have feet in your shoes. Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> you have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. You're the person who will decide where to go. Take heed of these words, class of 2012. This is what our teachers, parents, and mentors have been preparing us for, for our whole lives. Our lives are now in our own hands. So the question remains, what will you do with it? Congratulations, class of 2012, and may the odds be ever in your favor. Woo!